Hello. So today we are going to talk about ThinkPads. These things. Not just any ThinkPad or ThinkPads, but old ThinkPads. 15 year old ThinkPads. And why they're so much better than modern day ThinkPads and so much better than most laptops today. Why, well, really, any laptop today. And you're probably thinking, oh, come on, why would. 15 year old piece of hardware be better than a modern laptop well I don't know if you've noticed over the last 10 years but a lot has actually changed in the laptop market well, the PC market and one of the big things is features so that's always one of the great things about ThinkPads right this is why they were so successful business you had so many options. You could pick a ThinkPad that was completely unique to anyone else. All these different options. Now, okay, there might still be certain ThinkPad ranges, I don't know, that give you options. But there's a pretty big difference what's happened to laptops overall. And it's infected, I'm afraid to say, these things. So why would I use this, this 15-year-old laptop? Seems a complete anathema to anybody with technology. Why would I use something this old? Well, let's just get into it. It's the easiest way. And this is gonna be interesting because I'm doing this. I'm doing this with two hands, but I need to open this lid. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Can I do it? Doing it. It's terrible, terrible. Anyway, so first of all, let's just, this, I mean, people don't care about these things. I don't care too much, but it is kind of important. Just, just the keyboard, just the keyboard. Look at this keyboard here, all right? You're probably thinking, what the hell is that? If you're like, I don't know, five years old or whatever, 10, 20 years old, maybe. I mean, what the hell is this thing? Oh, maybe I should, can I change the camera over here? Oh, it's technology. See, phones as well. Don't get me started on them. You know, this is the old style key keyboards. So now you've got these chiclet things, right? Why does that matter? Actually, he's probably the least, well, it is important. I mean, especially if you're doing a lot of writing like I do, or you're working in the terminal and you're pretty much just using your keyboard. Having a good keyboard is pretty important. So having a good keyboard is important, but those new chiclet ones, the travel is just terrible. It is. It's, I'm sorry, I've not known a good chiclet. And even the new ThinkPads, I think I've tried a new ThinkPad. Okay, the keyboard might be better than whatever junky laptops that are general use these days, generally released. But the chiclet keyboards are just abysmal. Sorry. No travel, so uncomfortable, irritating, they drive me crazy. These, these were the last good um keyboards and these were also the keyboards that started to get phased out around this time so we're actually looking at like 15 years ago and then the chiclet keyboard started coming in you couldn't get these keyboards anymore i like them maybe try them out if you can and see what you think but yeah and that also then brings me on to another thing that seems to have gone from thinkpad specifically and other business laptops and i've used a Dell Latitude business laptop of recent times, and it doesn't have one of these. See this here? Track point, point stick. Now, even, even most um, business laptops of the past had these that weren't ThinkPads gone. I've, I've not noticed them anymore. Real shame, because they're great. Again, if you're about using the keyboard there are times where you have to use a mouse. Now, if you're using a laptop, why would you want to move your hands away from the keys if you know how to touch type, which is what you should all be doing, all of you. Learn to touch type. Don't leave the home row, because that's where the track point is, this thing here. And, okay, I haven't looked into the science, but oh, this camera's driving crazy. But I haven't looked into science, but first of all, surely, that's less repetitive strain injury. Your hands not having to move down to that mouse all the time, you having to leave the keyboard. It's just the way it is. 
as far as I'm concerned. So that this style keyboard good, track point good, chiclet keyboards not good, and especially in business laptops, it's a disgrace really, and no track point, unacceptable, unacceptable, unacceptable. So there you go. That's a pretty big thing to start with. So also, and just to say, this is an exception to the rule, but this here, this track point, if I've got to use that thing, I'm not using the laptop, basically. I am not using it. And this one here, this is my testing laptop. This is where you see all my videos on, mainly. Uh, my main laptop doesn't have this. And this is the same model. This is the X201. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, cameras. I don't know if you see that, but this is like one of the last great ThinkPads, as far as I'm concerned. It's just how I feel about it. Okay, because this is where things markedly get worse. Like I've said, this is one of the last ones. And another thing is these ThinkPads also had this screen. This is 16 by 10. And this is a really compact la uh, laptop, compact ThinkPad. This is like the most compact you could get, the X series. I guess they don't do these anymore anyway, but or maybe they do. But this is like as compact as you get. 16 by 10 is just like magic for these. And even after this one, the X220, which is quite a popular ThinkPad of old, doesn't have that. They started to go 16 by 9, like a traditional sort of widescreen. Look, it's small enough as it is as a laptop, but acceptably small. But it's not acceptable to just take that extra inch off. As you know, guys, that's one inch too for you and it's not acceptable 16 by 10 is the way and they stopped doing it after the x201 so that kind of covers the front of this thing what you mean there's more there's more things we've got to cover of course there is there's more things we've got to cover well part partly as well these things were built great i mean okay even these ones they start to cheapen the materials but this is like an aluminium chassis I'm not even sure they still do that as well. Is it some weird composite thing? I don't know. Carbon fibre or something. Is that the one? Like X1 carbon fibre? I don't know. Maybe you could tell me in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. It's a fake YouTube thing to do. So, what next? Okay. Probably missing things, but whatever. I'm just doing this ad hoc. Let's turn this bad boy over. So, now... I mean, this this is a pretty pivotal, pivotal, piv pivotal thing as well. This is pretty bad, I think. You, we know what company's responsible for this. It begins with A and ends with E and has P, P, L in between, okay? They are responsible for this. Now, see this? Look. Look at, you notice something? What do you notice? We can do this. We can try. Get this battery out. Oh, I can't get this battery out. Guys, give me so much things to do. I've got all this stuff to do. Okay. There we go. Did it one hand. How good am I? Did that whole catch thing, whatever. So, Let's be honest, you cannot do this on a modern laptop, let alone a business laptop. Okay, prove me wrong, but I don't think ThinkPads now have detachable batteries. And this brings me to the obvious point. None of the back of this computer is accessible if you're using a new computer. Your new laptop, you are not able to get to any of it, so you can't remove a battery. What if your battery dies? You've got to send it off to the manufacturer, basically, because it's soldered inside under some piece of plastic that isn't removable. Do you think that's acceptable? No, I don't. It's not acceptable. What else? So you've got the, what is that, the RAM there? I don't know, it should be, I should know this. You know, all this stuff can be removed. All the, see all these screw holes? All of this can be removed. I can undo the laptop perfectly, relatively easy, clean it, which is something I need to do on the other one. And if I need to take out any component, it's not soldered in. Even if you got this off of your modern laptop, it's probably all going to be soldered. You know, it's not removable pieces, interchangeable parts. 
is like a modern smartphone another thing they've done like this stupid smartphone here you cannot change the battery the battery goes bad you've got to send it back to the supplier because they want you to replace the phone even if you don't need to even if the next phone is marketed that it's the same with laptops the same with any computer so is that it do you think i'm finished well now i know somebody's going to go oh but you can't run windows 11 well why the hell would you want to run windows 11 again it's a setup to steal your money thousands and thousands of pounds or our american friends dollars and our european friends euros whatever for normal people like you unless you're playing computer games i don't know why i'm pointing this battery at you but there you go you can't do that with your laptop so just take that you cannot run windows 11 with this okay there might be technically a way some hack or something you cannot run it i do not want to run it for a very good reason it means i have to shell out for a new computer that is markedly worse all those things i've just told you about i do screenwriting right i write i write programs and do these stupid videos for you that you're probably not watching anyway why would i want to run windows 11 okay for work but then just get your work laptop to do that so does that mean it's good enough for everything else for linux it's absolutely fine you've seen the videos i don't i've done i'm running a what virtual machine i'm screen recording and i'm doing what i'm doing and it runs fine okay it's not perfect but you know for normal people it does not matter you're not going to need all this additional stuff you can do everything you need with a 15 year old thinkpad and that's the important point that's the good thing about linux um am i rambling now probably but this i feel this is a good point there's another thing you can do with a 15 year old thinkpad kind of like this one there's certain models the one after this the x220 and the one before the x201 uh, x200 sorry you can get core boot or libre boot and that is maintained by our software and there's a whole myriad of reasons why people like using it but to be honest do you even if you've got a few years old laptop are your manufacturer updating your bios probably not core boot libre boot they release new bioses and i think even like the x200 x220 the x one's a bit of a, this one's a bit of a strange situation I'm not going to go into. But basically, you get a new BIOS, you get BIOS software updates. I mean, that's pretty incredible, isn't it? You know, that people are still willing to do that, release this free software for your BIOS. And there's a whole myriad of reasons. You can look into Core Boot, Libre Boot, whatever. So, I can do everything I need. I can do it lightning fast. And just keep watching my videos, you will see, I will show you. I can do everything I need, all the stuff most people do. Okay, I can't play certain video games, but I don't play video games. Okay? Are you playing video games? All right, might be different for you, but let's just say this on this channel, we don't, <laughs> we don't play video games. Sorry, we don't. So I don't need video games. Even video editing, I video edit on this, and this is a 15-year-old laptop. In full HD, I could even do it in a higher resolution, I think, if I wanted to. I could render the videos, and it, it's fine. Absolutely fine. I'm not saying this is going to be the only solution for everything that you'll ever do in the future. 20 years from now, 25 years out, who knows what the situation is going to be. But it's pretty good 15 years, and I get all these benefits I've just explained. And it costs £100, or maybe £100 USD. Um... And I just like using it. Why do? Why would also? Why would you want to use something that's just uncomfortable? I mean, just the keyboard alone. Okay, I'm rambling now. I've covered most of it or some of it. But basically, old ThinkPads are good. Ones like these are brilliant. Everything after, because of the way laptops are gone, are markedly worse. Get a second-hand ThinkPad. Just if you're serious about comfort, get a second-hand ThinkPad is a thousand times better. And it gives you a reason to learn Linux as well. Okay? Right. I'll stop pointing this battery at you. Well, there we go. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe.
do the fake YouTube thing for me because what's the point of doing anything else? That's it. Later.